Okay, you can use the uh, calendar that's part of a group uh, to keep people in your group organized or people in your classes organized. So right now, I'm going to go into groups. I'm going to find my Schoology 101 group and go in there. And we're going to add... Oops. We're going to add some events to that calendar. And you'll see how it works. Okay, so we're in Schoology 101. On the left right now, there are no upcoming events because I don't have any events in this group yet. So let's add one. Um, we can do that by saying add event and when. Let's make it for tomorrow. And uh, we can give it a time here. So let's just say 8 a.m. Title, test event, description. This is a test event from Schoology 101. Okay, uh, and I could put files and links here. So if I needed to, for example, let's say attach a file that someone needed to check out before 8 a.m., I could do that. Um, and I can enable comments so people can ask questions about this event. So I'm gonna just say create. Okay, now it's here on the, on the right. Um, I, if I want to see the full calendar here, I can just go ahead and click this calendar and I'll click here on September and it's going to show me that in this group there's this. Now you'll notice I can't see all the other calendar events from the other groups I'm in. That's because I'm just in the Schoology 101 calendar. Now I'm going to go back to my landing page for a second. I'm just going to click here on home and now you'll notice that even though I'm on my landing page, I can see tons of different calendar events that are coming up. They're all sucked in from all of my different groups and courses I'm a member of. So here's that Schoology 101 event we just made. We can see the whole school faculty, faculty calendar showing us that uh, starting Monday we're on a week one and that it's also a holiday Monday. And I can just scroll down this list and I can see upcoming stuff for the whole week. If I wanted to see more than that, I could just push here on calendar and it would show me a more detailed view of the upcoming month or week or uh, whatever view I'd like to, to have a look. And you can see that these things are all pulled in from groups. If they were orange, they would be, be pulled in from my courses, uh, etc. So let's say you wanted to keep, for example, um, a rehearsal schedule. You could create a group for that um, for the group of students rehearsing for the play, or if you had a, let's say, like a drama department um, group, you could add it to that calendar. So you just need to decide how best to do that for uh, your students or the staff or whoever is involved.